Fumio Kishida has long been eyeing Japan's top political office. He made an attempt last year following the sudden resignation of Shinzo Abe, but was well beaten by Yoshihira Suga. Born in Hiroshima into a family of politicians, Kishida entered politics in 1993 after working as a banker. He previously served as the policy chief of the Liberal Democratic Party, or LDP, and was foreign minister between 2012 to 2017. During his term, he negotiated accords with Russia and South Korea, with whom Japan's relations are traditionally tense. A nuclear skeptic, Kishida famously called abolishing nuclear weapons his life's work and, in 2016, helped bring then-U.S. President Barack Obama on a historic visit to Hiroshima, the site of a U.S. atomic bomb attack which helped officially end World War II. Kishida has earned the reputation of seeking the middle ground, and observers say he leads the party's liberal faction. And despite this reputation, he has been less direct on social hot-button issues such as gay marriage. The father of three says he's a good communicator and hopes this can help him better understand the real concerns and needs of the people. I, Fumio Kishida, have a special skill of listening to people. I am determined to make an effort toward making a more open, liberal democratic party and a bright future for Japan together with you all. I ask for your support and help. Kishida vowed to reform the ruling party at its first press conference after the party vote. All eyes will be on the makeup of his cabinet once he is, as expected, officially made prime minister on Monday. The 64-year-old earlier said he wanted to maintain a balance between young and old. He'll be hoping his team can help him make progress on key populist issues, such as the need to forge a new kind of capitalism and ease divisions of wealth. I want to re-establish a virtuous circle between growth and distribution, so as many as possible across the whole of the archipelago can reap the rewards. Kishida also proposed a spending package of more than 30 trillion yuan. That's about 270 billion U.S. dollars. Adding that stimulus must be compiled by the end of the year. That may not be possible, however, as one of his first tasks will be to steer the LDP through a general election in late November.